Good day everyone. Another session for high school entrance exam review which you can use for Philippine Science High School, Manila Science High School, Ateneo, La Salle, Makati Science High School, Angeles City Science High School, etc. I'm Ofelia Orate, a principal owner of a school, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. I was also the uh, head of math unit of Philippine Science High School for a time. I taught in Philippine Science High School for 18 years at Ateneo, at Mari School, and at Xavier School. Okay? The intention of this review is to help a high school entrance exam students or grade 6 students to prepare for their high school entrance exam. Let's start. Problem number one. A strip of metal 7 and 1 8 inches long is to be divided into six equal parts. How many inches is the length of each part? So, what you can do is you have 7 and 1 8 inches is to be, di be divided into six equal parts. So, that would mean 7 and 1 8 divided by 6. Okay. So, Step one, you change this as an improper fraction. So, how do you do this? 8 times 7 is 56 plus 1, 57 over 8, divided by 6. Remember here that 6 is 6 over 1. Why did I do that? Because when you are dividing fractions, you simply multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor there and then try to see if there is anything which is cancelable can we cancel 57 and 6 no so therefore we continue 57 times 1 is 57 8 times 6 is 48 then take a look at the choices walang 57 over 48 they are all, they are major, majority uh, written as a mixed number. So we change this as a mixed number. 57 divided by 48, we have 1. 1 times 48 is 48. There. Then subtract. 7 minus 8 cannot be, so borrow 1 here. This becomes 4. This is now 17. Oh, 17 minus 8. Uh, what do we have? 17 minus 8 is 9. Right? 4 minus 4 is 0. So we have 1 and 9 over 48. Let me rewrite it here. 1 and 9. The remainder over 48. The divisor. But 9 and 48 are still divisible by 3 so 9 divided by 3 is 3 48 divided by 3 is 16 so we have 1 and 3 over 16 there what letter is that letter e the correct answer is letter e now let's move to problem number two beef loses 20 percent of its weight when roasted how many pounds of raw beef must be roasted to yield 6 pounds cooked roast beef? So, we are asking the question, 6, right here, 6 pounds, is 80% of times X. What is this X? The raw beef or the number of kilos or the weight of the raw beef why is this now 80 percent where in fact it says here beef loses 20 percent of its weight when roasted because we are solving for the weight of the raw beef so 100 percent minus 20% is 80%. Therefore here, 
all we have to do is, div is to divide both sides by 80%, like that. Okay, so this is now, you cancel that. So the weight of the raw beef is now 6 divided by 0.8. Why 0.8? 80% is 0.80. And 0.80 is simply 0.8. There, okay? So we have 6 divided by 0.8. When you divide by a decimal, what do you do? You move the decimal point one place to the right, make it a whole number. If you move this one place to the right, you also, you also have to move it one place to the right. So your decimal is now here. Your decimal point rather is now here. You copy it there immediately so that you will not forget. Since you move this one place to the right, there should be a zero here, there. Then divide. 60 divided by 8, approximate, it's around 7, right? Why? 8 times 7 is 56. 60 minus 56 is 4. There's a point there, see? Right? Then bring down 0. 40 divided by 8 is 5. Oh, 5 times 8 is 40, no remainder. So, our final answer is 7.5. So, the correct answer here is letter D. Next problem, problem number 3. Dan has 50 minutes to do 30 problems. So, we have... 50 minutes. How many problems? 30 problems. Yan. Oh. He does the first 20 problems in 45 seconds. So, the 20 problems here in how many minutes? Oh, 45 seconds. So, we have to convert that into minutes no okay so 20 problems in 45 minutes would mean let me compute here 45 seconds rather 45 seconds times 20 problems right 45 seconds each for the 20 problem. So we multiply this. 5 times 2 is 10, 0 carry 1. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1, 9. And then there's a 0 here. Put the 0 there. So you have a total of 900 seconds. But, wait, <laughs> there's more. It says there, the question is rather, what is the average number of minutes? Minutes. So we have to uh, divide 900 by 60. Why 60? Because one minute equals 60 seconds. So this is how you do it fast. 900 divided by 60. Oh. Remove one zero here, remove one zero there. So you're now dividing only 90 by 6. 9 divided by 6 is 1 times 6 is 6. 9 minus 6 is 3, bring down 0. 30 divided by 6 is 5. So this would mean that the 20 problems were done in 15 minutes. Yeah. 15 minutes and the question is what is the average number of minutes can he spend on the remaining problems so there there were 30 problems total minus 20 minutes at uh, 20 problems we have 10 problems left and the 20 problems were done in 15 minutes so you have 35 minutes left 
See? Oh, so therefore, all we have to do now is to divide 35 by 10. Right? So we have here 35 divided by 10. Oh, when you're dividing by 10, what do you do? You move the decimal point one place to the left. So you have 35, three, 35 divided by 10, which is 3.5 minutes per problem. 0.5 means one half in the choices. There's no 3.5, so we have three and a half as an answer, and that is letter D. Problem number four. If a carton containing a dozen eggs is dropped, which of the following cannot, cannot be the ratio of the broken eggs to whole eggs? Okay, let's take a look at this. We have uh, a total of 12 eggs. So let's say, uh, this is the, let's say, unbroken. Huh? These are the broken. Huh? Let's say we have 12 eggs, eggs, zero broken eggs. So 12 are unbroken. Or if we have 11 whole eggs unbroken, one is broken. If there are 10 whole unbroken, two are broken and so on nine whole and broken three will be broken eight we have here 12 minus eight is four or oh, seven 12 minus seven is five what else six six 12 minus 6 is 6. There, no? And then back to 7 again there. So, no more. So now, we have the following ratio. We have 12 is to 0. It's not there. Oh, 11 is to 1 or 1 is to 11. Remember, we would like to find the ratio which cannot be for broken eggs to whole eggs, whole or uh, unbroken eggs. So, we have 11 is to 1 or 1 is to 11. Do we have it there? 10 is to 2, but 10 is to 2 or 2 is to 10 can still be simplified as 5 is to 1. How did we do that? 10 is to 2. 10 by 2 is 5. 2 by 2 is 1. Or 1 is to 5. It's here. So it can. Next one we have here. 9 is to 3 or 3 is to 1. 9 rather. So if it is 3 is to 9, 3 is to 9 can still be simplified as 3 by 3, 1. 9 by 3 is 3. 1 is to 3. This is 1 is to 3 or 3 is to 1. It can be a ratio. Next, 8 is to 4. Oh, 8 is to 4 or 4 is to 8. 8 by 4 is 2. 2 over 1 or 1 is to 2. Right? We can have here 2 is to 1 or 1 is to 2. So we have here Letter A, 2 is to 1. It can be a ratio. Next is 7 is to 5 or 5 is to 7. We have letter E here. So, the correct answer is letter C. Let's double check. Oh, this is 6 is to 6 or 1 is to 1. So, therefore, the final answer is letter C. There is no ratio of 3 is to 2 or a ratio or of 2 is to 3. Last problem. Problem number 5. If x star y equals 3 times the reciprocal of x plus y, 
what is 6 star 7? Oh. So, 6 star 7 simply means 3 times the reciprocal of x. So, 3 times the reciprocal of 6. So, 1 over 6. Plus y. So, plus 7. Okay? Now, you have to remember that 3 and 6 here again are cancelable. This means 3 over 1 in the first place. So 3 over 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we have 1 half plus 7. Oh, we know too well that that is 7 and a half. So the answer is letter C. Finally there, I, was, I hope I was of help to you. My intention is really to help you. Always remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Do all, subscribe, press the notification bell and like. Thank you so much. Good luck.